So you may have heard the phrase, not your keys, not your crypto. But what exactly does that mean? Well, it was coined from the sentiment that if you're using a custodial platform or exchange, then they're really the ones holding on to your funds for you. So if something happens, such as they suddenly go out of business or some kind of government mandate causes them to freeze transactions, then you can't access your funds and there's really nothing you can do about it. So how can you avoid that and keep 100% of the control over what happens with your crypto? Well, that's where non-custodial options like hardware wallets come in. With a hardware wallet, you not only have full control over your funds, but you have an extra layer of security by having a physical device that is needed to access your accounts. Because let's face it, most hackers like to sit behind their computer and don't necessarily want to come break into your house. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about hardware wallets is that your funds actually live on the device. So if they aren't on the device, then where does your crypto live then? Well, think of it kind of like the cloud. They're coded into the blockchain and it's just kind of like your key to get in and use it. So how do these things actually work? Well, each different brand of hardware wallet operates a slightly different way, but generally you'll have a pin code that you put in to get access to your accounts and make any kind of transactions you wish. So what happens if you do lose your hardware wallet? Well, when you're setting your wallet up, you'll receive a seed phrase that is usually a string of 24 randomly generated words that that are unique to you and your accounts. So if you lose the physical device, you'll simply order another one and then use the seed phrase to restore it on a new device. Now this is why keeping your seed phrase safe and having secure backups is the most important thing that you can do when it comes to securing your funds. Speaking of security, how secure are these things Really? I mean, it kind of just looks like a glorified USB stick. Well, there's different layers of security, and although it's not as secure as a fully air-gapped cold storage device, it is much more secure than only using online layers of security to protect your accounts. So should everyone use a hardware wallet? Well, it kind of depends on how you're planning to use your crypto. A hardware wallet is generally best for crypto that you plan to hold long term and not use for daily transactions or trading. So you may end up using a mix of different wallet and platform solutions based on your goals and desired level of security. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll be back soon with more explainer videos.